Good morning, everyone. Beautiful day. The temperature's starting to warm up quickly. If you joined us first thing this morning, you saw lots of 30s and 40s, but beginning to warm up now. So in Raleigh, they dropped the acorn. In New York, they dropped the snooky. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the nuts really in New York. Oh, that's a good one. But, uh, mm -hmm. They're here all day, people. <laughs> Thank you. Big basketball game tonight at Cameron Indoor Stadium. If you're lucky enough to have a ticket, and if you have an extra one, call me. But I wonder if oh, you made go. bets on that one. Uh, mm, Las Vegas. Yeah. Mm. You know I'm what, though? You. It is a dry snow out oh, there. Please. The desert. <laughs> Shit, uh, just kidding. Moving along. <laughs> yes, let's just, <laughs> it's real early. We're at the overpass, TWI Alexander, and this is exactly the kind of area we're worried about overnight. And if you look down at my feet here, you can see where we are in the shoulder. Nothing really collecting here. But as soon as you get out of the overpass, that area where the roadway is exposed out into the open air, that's where the slush and that's where the messy stuff starts to collect. And those are the areas you need to be most concerned with as we get into the overnight and early morning hours when we do see the potential for some freezing. There are already seeing snow making it down to the ground, already accumulating in spots. And it'll come down hard to start and then it'll make that switch over later today. But already some accumulating snow. Southern counties that will move from south to north over the course of the morning. Let me show you on NBC 11 first alert Doppler XP and you'll see what we're seeing on the radar this morning on the wide view. Now some of this not making it down to the ground, but we've been getting reports from our viewers and friends on Facebook here this morning and we're seeing snow in and around Pinehurst. Holly tells us that also seeing it on our cameras in Fayetteville. Christine and James have told us they saw snow on their way into work in uh, at Fort Bragg this morning, a little farther north, getting reports from Eddie that we're seeing light snow in Sanford, and I've got Kelly standing by in Fuquay Verena for me. She's going to tell me when that snow makes it to the ground in southern Wake County. So we're watching this snow track north this morning. That'll be the case over the course of the day, and then we'll see a switch over a little later on. Our AccuView camera now at Terminal 2 at RDU, not seeing any snow there. It is 29 degrees, switching into Durham, the Bull City, the Durham Freeway just fine at 29. We do have snow in Fayetteville atop Husk Hardware. It's 27 degrees this hour. Winter storm warning extended farther north. This happened just before we joined you at 430 this morning. It does include the triangle now. So you see Goldsboro, Smithfield, Durham into Orange County. Now Hillsboro in those areas under the winter storm warning. AccuWeather headlines now through the day. Snow develops from south to north. It'll come down heavy and accumulate quickly before switching to freezing rain. That'll happen later today. And then a slow Tuesday morning commute because that freezing rain and drizzle is going to hang around. Why isn't the snow making it down to the ground in spots? Well, the air is still very dry. Look at that nine degree dew point at RDU where the temperature is 28 degrees. It's 28 Fayetteville, Sanford, 27 Southern Pines where it's snowing, 28 in Lewisburg. Satellite radar composite shows snow extending well to the north, but that's not making it down to the ground. It's about right in through here now. Best guess from the reports we're getting on the ground of where that snow is beginning to fall. And it's accumulating quickly as much as a, a couple of inches of snow will accumulate before we get that switch over to freezing rain and sleet later today. These are the forecast highs for the afternoon, only in the mid 30s, so not much warmer from where we are right now. It's going to be a cold day. AccuWeather predictor our forecast model. This is six in the morning and the snow right in through here, tracking it north then over the course of the morning. It might be mid morning, maybe even late morning before we see that snow in the triangle and then later points north. But then that warmer air noses in and that allows that switch over to take place. So once we see the switch over, that'll be the end of your snow. And then we'll see that wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain through the evening, even into tomorrow morning. That's going to make for a slow Tuesday, probably through the first half of the day. This is the best guess with regard to snowfall accumulation, maybe one to two inches in the purple area, two to four right in through here in that pinkish area. And that could extend a little bit farther because it's already stacking up places like Aberdeen. Got a note from about an inch and a half of snow there already so it's coming down very quickly and when it switches over that'll be it could also see some ice accumulation as well with that switch over so lots to watch here the key to the snowfall amounts will be when that switch over takes place so we could go just a little bit in either direction from those snowfall forecasts we showed you it continues into the day tomorrow so expect a slow start to the day Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday getting back to normal but nowhere near normal temperature wise highs only in the upper 30s gonna be a very cold week starting out with a winter storm mm -hmm. look out look out right <laughs> thank you
Morning everyone indeed that'll be the story now as this uh, cold front races to the east. Those storms are clearing the area and the clouds will quickly break behind it and the temperatures they take a tumble and we're already seeing it happen at 64 at RDU wind is out of the southwest at 21 so still some pretty gusty winds out there but look at the numbers you can already see the contrast upper 60s Goldsboro Rocky Mount Wilson Roanoke Rapids at 67 then we go to 61 Chapel Hill Roxborough Sanford upper 50s at Southern Pine so that cold air racing in behind the front and it's cold air 32 Louisville 23 in Chicago teens farther west this morning so that cold air will push east and we'll see daytime highs and overnight lows drop off over the next few days. This is what's left of those showers and a minimal threat of severe weather now really along and east of I-95. If you're behind that Raleigh, Fayetteville, Durham, Chapel Hill, as Chris was saying, uh, those areas really no threat for severe weather, just some light rain left over behind this system for the rest of the morning. So that tornado watch up until nine o'clock would be shocked if it stays up that long. Really should see these counties drop off here within the next hour or so as that front races east. We'll be clearing over the course of the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, but chilly air. We only get up to, uh, well, actually temperatures falling through the days. We'll be in the 50s this afternoon. Then tomorrow we only get up to 50. In fact, many spots may stay in the upper 40s for high temperatures on Thursday, well below average. As you see the trend over the next few days is for those temperatures to stay below that 57 degree average right on through the end of the week and through the weekend. So chilly day and night, big basketball game tonight at Cameron Indoor Stadium. If you're lucky enough to have a ticket, and if you have an extra one, call me. But if you're lucky enough to have a ticket, Michigan State Duke tonight, 30s on the way in, 30s on the way out. So you get the idea of how quickly these temperatures are going to fall today. Take the jackets for whatever you're doing this evening. Overnight lows, upper 20s, near 30 under that mostly clear sky. Here's the accurate seven day forecast uh, cooling off right on into the weekend with those daytime highs, low 50s, overnight lows, upper 20s. Not much rain or precipitation in the forecast once we get through this morning, but Plenty of cooler temperatures. I've been gearing up for winter and want to gear up for the holidays. Now's the time. That is right. Meteorological winter begins today. John Clark, he's been reading his weather books again. <laughs> Take a note. Yes, meteorological winter starts today, December 1st. Fantastic. Right. I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs>